Namaste, my dear friends, my dear gods, and my dear masters. Thanks to Pita Mahapatri Ji, Pyramid World Foundation and PSSM. And thanks to all of you. Today is day 7, 21 IDP batch 11. Today, we are going to look into one of the core concepts of spirituality. The topic is know the reason for your existence. Such a beautiful topic, but very deep and very intensive. We'll try to cover this in one or two days. So kindly focus now. Know the reason for your existence. Not the body, not the mind. Even we must know why as a soul we exist. We have been discussing and talking about why this body exists. For experiences, for learning, for evolution. We must also know why our soul exists. Why at all we exist. It's a very deep concept. And the more we know about it, the more we know about ourselves. And we focus on our existence more. Let us look into some of the points. Understanding your true nature. <clears throat> Realization is important. First we come to know, then we experience, finally we realize. We see our body, we touch the body, then we realize, oh, there is a body. At the age seven to eight, we come to know there is something called mind. Then we experience thoughts. Then we realize, oh, I have a mind. Now I'm thinking. Similarly, we must know we must experience and we must realize that our true nature is not the body and mind. Our true nature is the soul. And we are souls. We need to understand our true nature. We tell like his true nature is something. Actually, everybody's true nature is soul. The choice of words we use in day-to-day -day life has to start aligning with the truth. Then we slowly start aligning with the truth. Whenever we speak, we must observe whatever we speak. Is it aligning with the truth? Or are we speaking something and we are searching something else? The second point is a connection with the divine. Though we are souls, we live mostly with the body and mind. Because our consciousness is not yet expanded. Our consciousness is limited to the physical, sometimes to the emotional, sometimes to the mental. And during certain periods of time or in the dreams or in deep meditation, we feel the connection with the divine. One experience. One connection. We need to connect ourselves, that is this body and the mind and the emotion with the universal consciousness. Initial stages, you may experience here and there. You will slowly start connecting. The more and more and more deeply you go into the journey of meditation, this connection becomes a permanent connection. Yes, we are disconnected from the consciousness. We are limited to the body, mind and the feelings. 
it is our duty to re-establish the connection with our own divine divinity, our own soul. Why should we do? Why can't we just live with this body, emotion and mind? We must do because that is our true self. That is our true nature. We have to connect with our own truth. Are we going to live with the suggestions given by the mind or are we going to live the intuitions given by the soul? One of our meditators called me yesterday and said, Nowadays, I am following the intuitions and all these years, I have been just following the mind. There's always confusion. But now, I am getting intuitive messages and those are very, very clear. All these days, that meditator know about intuition, but there is no experience. Now, they have experience. But sometimes when the intuition comes, the meditator believes or don't believe. Now they started believing it a lot. Now they are realizing, understanding that anything comes from the mind, there is confusion. But any message comes from the intuition. As an intuition, there is crystal clear clarity. Because it comes from your true self, your eternal self, that is your soul. First, you need to understand that you are a soul. Then you need to establish the strong connection. First is understanding. Second is connecting. Then you will come to know your purpose of life. But understand who you are. Then start connecting with who you really are. Then you must ask or know, first of all, why am I born? If we are not in union with the divine, how will we know our life's purpose? First, we must know that there is a Zoom session. Second, using the internet, we connect. Then we understand why we connect. What we have to do here. That is life purpose. And if you turn off the camera, law of karma comes, you will be put in the waiting list. What a beautiful example. First is understanding. Second is connection. Then we understand what is our life purpose. Is the life of purpose just to exist? Eat, earn, die. Nobody is going to question you. But you will question yourself after the death. Why am I born and what did I do? And again, you will take a rebirth. Nobody is forcing you to make this life as a last life. If you don't understand, if you don't connect, if you don't realize that you are a soul, knowing your purpose of life is impossible. And how will we know about our purpose of life? Will somebody come and tell us? <coughs> Sometimes it happens. If somebody is telling your purpose of life, they are able to connect with your divine. It is your responsibility to get your intuitive message. But if you fail to do so, somebody will connect to your divine and they will know your Akashic plan, your soul purpose and they will tell you. It happens rarely. But you can find your own purpose of life. Knowing your purpose of life is the ultimate purpose. If you don't know your life's purpose, 
you will never get a direction in life you will simply wander here and there but if you are in the path meditation path one or the other day you will know why you are born and only one thing the sign ages we must always be aware careful is law of karma very exhaustive topic in the recent days when i went to chennai during the session a very hot argument started among the people they stopped listening to me few said we can donate eyes few said we can donate blood few said no it is not people stopped listening to me they were talking to themselves which is good which is not good which is bad i let them speak discuss for one or two minutes and then i said in the eye of law of karma is it right nobody had answer when you see in the eye of humanity when you see in the eye of help yes they are great but did you see in the eye of law of karma they don't know we should always go one step above and see unless until you know about law of karma how will you know any action you take you may feel happy you may feel satisfied at the body level and the mind level but what about the soul level will it hamper your spiritual growth yes we must understand law of karma we must know in depth what is law of karma what happens every action you take knowingly and knowingly you have to face it so are we not going to take any action and sit even that is not useful this is a karma bhumi we have to do karma but we need to know the consequences of every act then do it so knowing is your fundamental right knowing is your duty you cannot deny it only spiritual science clearly tells you what to do what not to do and what happens if you do something that is law of karma so first thing you need to understand your true nature that is you are eternal soul you need to understand people know the truth but they cannot follow so they say sir i know but i am not able to follow you just know but you don't have experience you don't have the realization yet if you have the realization you will follow because they are in the first layer that is they just know the information and connecting with your divine that connection is very important if you have any question what do we do we immediately ask others or we go and do google or we ask ai why don't you close your eyes why don't you meditate and see if your divine is giving you the answer make it a habit the first and the foremost place for us to search for any answer of our questions is from our soul because we are souls and the answer is there everything in the universe is already inside our soul so we have to go inside and see are we getting any answer the only obstacle there is mind we have to calm it we have to quiet it sit for 30 minutes sit for one hour you will get the answer make it a habit for every question ask yourself is it a really true question is it my question or somebody's question if it is truly your question you will truly get an answer 
if you cultivate this habit of going inside and finding the answer one or the other day you will also find why you are wrong remember every moment that you are a soul try to always connect with your divine and then one or the other day you will know your purpose of life you will know your akashic record you will know your karmic balance everything you will know by your own self until then take the support take the support of the group take the support of gurus take the support of crystals take the support of pyramids take the support of books take the support of full moon take the support of nature take the support of music but once you are able to connect with your divine you will become another support for everybody you have to take support from all the pillars until unless you experience and realize and then you become a pillar a very deep topic there is still lot more to discuss today let us end it here and next few days we will know about more there are lot more topics but today let us stop it here